Good afternoon to everyone. A few years ago, a woman came up to me, very upset, saying that she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand why any 13-year-old trained boy is able to say two brachas before his aliyah and after his aliyah one bracha, and yet everyone shakes his hand like he did something extraordinary, saying no less than Yashar Koach, which taking the Aramaic version of it means go to strength. He didn't uh, lift up weights. He didn't do something extraordinary, say like Bichazin, especially not on a Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So why is it a person says two blessings and you say Yashar Koach? I think that here the Minna Gavam Yisrael is very, very strong and very correct. What we're basically telling a person when he gets an aliyah is, we acknowledge you're alive. There's a famous story in the Gemara about Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai that was a very pious individual, the president of the Jewish people on the eve of the destruction of the Second Temple. And amongst many things, the Gemara says that even though he was steeped in piety, always wearing his tefillin, never wasting a moment, when he walked around on the street, no one was able to say hello to him first. He was always the one to say hello. Namely, he greeted every person. And I believe in Shul, we have a beautiful example of that. As the famous Sesame Street song goes, you're alive. We are acknowledging that you're alive. We are acknowledging that you're part of our Shul. We're acknowledging that you did us a favor. You got an Aliyah. Nothing extraordinary, but we hope that you go from strength to strength in the sense of you will be strong to continue to be alive and well and being able to get an aliyah. And therefore, I think, especially as we just exited so many years of COVID where the most important thing was social distancing, that what we do in shul is so important, namely the opposite of social distancing. When someone passes us, we say hello. When someone passes us on the street, we wish them a good morning or a good evening. And I can promise you one thing. When you do that, in this day and age, it could bring a huge smile to someone's face. It used to be that on planes, people talk to each other, but today, each one in their own earphones, it's rare. I can promise one thing. If you actually do something extraordinary and say, hello, my name is Yehoshua Grunstein, what's your name? You will bring a huge smile to that person's face, regardless of what the conversation is afterwards. Have a wonderful day.